John Moxley, bro. That nigga probably won't ever be beaten, bro. They'll, they'll try to run that nigga to the ground. I can't wait to. You said what? Hold on. I said just miss out. You said. I said if he go to AEW, he probably won't ever be beaten, bro. They probably he won't give. Me, I can guarantee you, the storylines that nigga would be giving is probably some shit that he wouldn't like, cause he would not be dominating like that. Probably be interesting. I don't know. We ain't got to see the same shit over and over the fucking. Who make the storylines at uh, the WWE? It's just a bunch of people. It's, it's Vince and some other writers and like writers. Yeah. It's been ass, bro. But so Vince can do what he want, even even though they got writers, like you can tell them what to do. Yep. Yeah, he the CEO. Not anymore. Had to step down. Fuck yeah, nigga. Shit ass. So who who controlled it now? Stephanie. Stephanie. For the meantime. Oh my god, she finna fuck everything up, bro. Can't be worse than what he did. What he does. <laughs> what the fuck Triple H at, bro? Let him do it, bro. Bro. He has heart problems, bro. Bro. Randy Orton, John Cena. <laughs> Triple H. Okay, bro. I, I, I Triple mean, H. For Randy Orton up there. I'm not mad at Randy Orton. Triple H. Uh, debatable for me, but. Can we all agree Randy Orton has the greatest heel story of all time? Yes. Uh, it, it's just up there for me. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, Zeus. Yeah, it's up, it's up there. Kill. <laughs> Randy Orton, Hill Story, Legend Killer. And it don't even gotta be Legend Killer. His Hill Story, his Hill Story with John Cena, bro, is like, bro. Yeah, but still Legend and Killer, Randy Orton. Mm. Yeah, unless you count it, because that's, that's, that's not even the Hill Story, this is a storyline. What, the Legend Killer? No, you're talking about the John Cena shit, that's a storyline. Yeah, didn't everybody hate John Cena? I mean, not John Cena. Uh, fucking, uh, yeah, Andrew. yeah, but but I yeah, but but it's all the legend killer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Say it again. I ain't hear you. Bro. It's all the legend killer. That's, 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 that's oh, that was still considered the legend killer. Yeah. What the fuck? I did not know that. No. Oh, that shit is still the legend killer. Now the Rock. I, I mean, I, I don't. I didn't really watch the Rock. Until he came back and was fucking with John Cena, calling him the Fruity Pebbles. The Rock probably so, easily got. I don't care what nobody said. The Rock up on the mic, top. Yeah, yeah. For he's number one all, all time. Man, I, I, I ain't never, I ain't never like. I, I didn't watch him until John, until he came and started fucking with John Cena, bro. Now, I don't know I how he that was. Nigga one I thing. I'm not a big fan of his wrestling, but that boy can talk shit. I give him that. I don't right. know how his how his wrestling matches was back then. If he was actually good or not, or he actually he was, check. but I wouldn't put him on the top ten. Yeah, that's what. That's why I, I'm. I'm just not gonna put him in there. He was, but the most of disappointed about that nigga career was just that little storyline they had with Snoop Dogg. Other than that, really, 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 really. <coughs> Undertaker, obviously. I think everyone should agree with that. Okay. Of course. Um. Who else? I mean, CM Punk should be in there easily. Not not this new CM Punk, but... Bro, what's wrong with the new CM Punk? Yeah, I don't get the hate. Yeah, WWE CM Punk, so yeah, it counts. Yeah, bro. One of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Still is, but... Easily one of the best upon the mic, too, because that mm -hmm. boy used to talk his shit. Nigga, when that nigga... He when was that nigga trying used, to expose When that nigga used business. to sit in the middle of the ring with his legs crossed, bro. And, and that nigga was good, just talking his shit, bro. <coughs> I ain't gonna let nigga earn my respect, because everything that nigga said was true. Boy. Yes, yeah, sir. He was exposing that fucking business. They used to cut that nigga shit off. Nigga was tired of that shit. They gave that nigga no type of main event matches. But they gave it to Cena and Rock. Fuck fucking, out of here. And that nigga was a champion, bro. That nigga was getting mad disrespected. Like, fuck them niggas. And Sting. Sting is top 10. Can we all agree? I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, you didn't what? even watch no Sting bro, matches. Bro, the old nigga, I, that was the first nigga, nigga, my daddy. My whoa, 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 don't need the other. I'm, I'm, I like, I've never really nigga, seen them with the same moves on but... me, bro. That was like the first wrestler I knew. I'm dead. I'm, I, I'm sorry, bro. Just off of that finish, bro. It's, it's just so basic, bro. His moveset bro, oh is just God. some of the most basic shit, bro. Nigga, before I even know what WWE was, nigga, I knew who Steam was, bro. My daddy had never been watching that nigga matches, bro. 
Bro, it, it would have been probably been different if the shit wasn't so basic. But it's yeah, regular, bro. He just he like I put that nigga and Goldberg up in the same level, bro. If I'm being honest. Goldberg ass, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. He's I'm glad you know Goldberg ass. ass. Now that nigga Goldberg do something, bro. Like he born. Yeah, that nigga right? ass. Yeah, he do the same shit. I don't even understand why that Jack Hammond is the fucking finisher when he gets the three counts off of Spears. I I just never understood it. My Stone Cold, he was entertaining. Not I minute. Mean Niggas wanted to watch that nigga matches. I don't know one, bro. Stone Cold used to talk his shit up on the mic too, bro. One of them legendary microphones. That's, that's, that's an all in one nigga right Undertaker there. Undertaker for show up there. I don't get Undertaker. That nigga did some damn controversy. That nigga had niggas rolling their eyes to the back of their head, boy. That nigga was different. True. That nigga used to scare me when I was a kid. Flowers, boy. Facts. Can you me come on? I'm leaving the room. Bro, I'm just mad that nigga retired before I even got to see that nigga come out to the ring with the lights off. <laughs> I gotta see Jeff Hardy get clean. That way I could uh, see one match, bro. But he's not clean no more. That's what I just did. <laughs> I think that was 10 people, wasn't it? I think that was like 6 or 7. Um... I know some people might not like this, but it is it is indeed facts. Hulk Hogan is one of the greatest oh wrestlers of all time. No, Look, I don't like it either, but the nigga is, bro. Like, oh, no, he's not, bro. Two years he is. Bro, no, he's not. I bro. mean, okay, if we put him up in top ten, he got to be number ten. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> no, right, he's not on the list, but he's definitely top ten. No, he's dude. not, bro. Yes, he yeah, is, If you going to put that nigga up in top ten, Look, he better be your like, number ten, man. I don't ten, like man. either, but he is, bro. Like, come on, bro. Let's Stop here, man. Stop bro, we gonna do that. That nigga has to be number ten, bro. I'm fine with that, bro. But the nigga is definitely one of the best of all time. Alright, man. Now I ain't gonna say that this nigga's a top ten, but he damn sure underrated. That nigga John Morrison, man. Yeah. I t <laughs> you tweaking? You don't think John Morrison is no, mad underrated? I like underrated. John Morrison. I do, but he he's not even top twenty for me, bro. What? Maybe. maybe not even <laughs> top 20, bro. You I don't feel like man. I don't feel like you know, I don't feel like he's done enough. I don't feel like bro, I just overall nigga because they man, use man. the same niggas over and over again. He, he's done more outside WWE than in WWE. No, John Morrison is probably it one of the coldest wrestlers, bro. Easy, bro like, that nigga Sting, was different. Sting bro. has no uh, yeah, Sting, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I, I just can't see Sting top ten, <laughs> me, bro. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying, but that nigga's just crazy, bro. I will put him over. I put him over Hulk Hogan any day. <laughs> Hell, I can't even I agree know. with that damn statement because they both. What? Were, well, oh. At least Hulk Hogan was at least decent up on the mic, bro. Sting just just show up every now and then, bro. I'm sorry, I do. Dude, then the crowd go crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, Sting show up out of nowhere, beat up Triple H, and then disappear, bro. Like, it's, it's, nigga, uh, did you did you not watch uh, AEW the other day? That nigga came back, bro. The crowd was just, bro, like they, they seen the ghost or something, bro. Bro, that man, 85, bro, most of the fans. <laughs> bro, I get tired of seeing 51, that one. 51. Bro. Look at this. No, man, not, shit, much, he not much better, but. Away. Shit. Nigga should have retired with Taker. God damn. <laughs> Dude, that nigga old, bro. This is his last run, bro. I hope so. Shit. <laughs> it's time to call it quits, old man. <laughs> the future is now, old man. Like, bro, I get, that nigga there is just ancient, bro. Hey, can I pick up a pick, bro? Oh. Kane ain't bad, bro. The guy who killed his, uh, his wife and Chris uh, Benoit? I got a story in there. You gonna kill somebody for real? Like, what's the going on, bro? I, I got you, though. That half him in the game? Or did somebody make him? Yeah, in 07. No, not really. In 07, Undertaker was like, you you and your family are going to die. Some bullshit like that. He and said then, that for real? Yeah. Oh, and it happened. Oh. Yep. Lock him up. Case closed. We know who did it. No, bro. <laughs> nah, Three that was man. probably just for like some joke type shit. But that, I think that nigga didn't get the joke, man. I was a lawyer. I would have I used that as court. Bro, it was Undertaker a, is clearly the culprit. Bro. It was before, and it was a, it was a game storyline. Come on, bro. Yeah, he was. He took it seriously, man. The man was steroid crazy, bro. Why he killed him anyway? I don't know. 
<laughs> is he still alive? Hell no. Bro, no, he's dead. The dead body was right there. He, oh, he killed himself too after he killed him? Yes. Yeah. He hung himself with a gym weight. He killed himself with a gym weight? Like he hung himself. Bruh. All right, Pete. Y'all boys, hey. That boy Ben, it can happen to anybody, man. That shit crazy. I want this big bitch to win. Why? Cause she big. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Don't tap me, girl. Dude. You got a crush on those? Hell no. I like when Randy went RKO to the side of the other. Bruh. And he smiled after that. He liked it too. Oh my god. Yeah, you make me feel like I've been locked out of hell. I don't like that my women's champion lost her belt, but whatever. I liked it. That was a clean Robert. God ah, damn. Damn, she needs to be part of, part of the fat boys. Yo, what's up, She ain't a boy. You know what? Yeah, she's not even a boy. Well, still like one. Fucking Chris Benoit. <laughs> Something funny? Yeah, of course not. Nothing's funny. Great Kali top ten though, him. Bro, shut the Hell fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Plan, shut bro. the fuck up, bro. <laughs> I already know you're trolling, bro. Bro, could he move? That would have been the worst take I didn't heard all day, boy. Boy. <laughs> With the fate on the line and you need a real WWE match, Dope. give me the Great Kali. You would die. You would die on that hill. The world will die on that hill. <laughs> I don't even know why they gave him the belt in the first place. You know, on the cool, I wouldn't mind you saying Ray, Ray Mysterio could be a top 10. No. Bro. Of course you don't see him as top 10. I ain't gonna lie, you're tweaking, bro. He's not top 10, bro. Is it because uh, bro, he's you Mexican? You used to get out your seat when you seen the 6 Top 20? Man. I mean, yeah, I did, but, no. bro. Mm. You know, Rey Mysterio is a top 10 for sure. Dude, top 20 maybe, top 10 no. Dude, take out Hulk Hogan and put it in Mysterio. There's definitely 10 people that's better than Rey Mysterio. It's not even a question. Chris Damn. Jericho Chris Jericho has had a better career than, than Rey Mysterio. Not, uh, been a WWE? That's a no, just, just sure. over, No, just overall wrestling, period. I thought we were talking about WWE, niggas. No, that's why I put Sting in there. That nigga there, huh? I, well, if that's the case, Hulk Hogan definitely ain't in the damn list. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nigga, yeah, why? Because yeah, yeah. he's ass. Dude, come on, bro. Uh, it's, it's, it's that 50s wrestling style. Like, I ain't exactly. Like that, man. Like, I ain't so, we just here. excluding them niggas where they, they can't bro, be Bro, because that here. shit ass, bro. I ain't trying to see niggas put niggas in headlocks for 55 fucking minutes, man. That shit, man. Bro, plus, he was supposed to lose to Randy Orton, but his bitch ass didn't want to do the job, so he made Randy Orton lose. He was supposed to lose to Randy Orton? Yeah, he was the legend killer. What's a bigger legend than Hulk Hogan? But no, bitch didn't want to lose. Wow. He did the same thing as Shawn Michaels. Racist. Oh, now he's a racist. Like Shawn Michaels. He I got Sean Michaels in my top ten. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I would have to go back. He's tuning up the band. Oh, boy, that's all you needed to hear. You already knew what the hell was coming. I did get hyped when he's a sexy boy. Sexy boy. <laughs> Sean Michaels gotta be there. Oh, the box ain't got to stop, though, man. 
No. That nigga is, is I'm sorry, bro. I can't see that nigga in my top ten ever. I'm sorry, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, in my yeah. opinion, he was a better UFC fighter than a fucking wrestler. Exactly. Hell no. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, he would get beat up, bro. In today's UFC, he would get beat the fuck up, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, man, listen. All I'm gonna say is, bro. All I'm gonna say is, man. If I have to watch, if I had to choose out of watching a Brock Lesnar match or a Heat Slater match, I might just watch a nigga Heat Slater get his ass. Nigga, you fucking ass, nigga. Heat Slater was fucking ass. I'd rather watch. I'd rather watch Heat Slater get his ass beat. <laughs> 18 <laughs> suplexes <laughs> to a nigga <laughs> named Ben Roethlisberg, bro. I ain't got time for that, bro. I ain't got time for it, man. It's mid, bro. It's mid. Fuck your way. I'm dead. He just it's said mid, he's slavery. Matter of fact, give me that nigga. I'm gonna turn him into a superstar. On my Dude, show. no. And then do like 38. L5. <laughs> like, bro. Exactly. Shit. And then you gonna end the fucking match with a fucking Kamora lock, bro. I'm good, man. <laughs> God. Dude, you know it's the truth, bro. It's the same shit over and over again, cool. bro. And then, and then after the match, you This nigga's another, been giving like, the same storyline since he got back up in the fucking WWE, man. This shit is ass, bro. Oh my it's, God. It's old. It's played <laughs> out, bro. Just retire already. Fuck. Randy Orton should have beat him. This is new, though. You yeah, probably. Nigga name, bro. Hell, shit. I could have should have beat that damn nigga. That nigga so damn cool. boring to fucking watch, bro. Shit. <laughs> Dare I say Jack Swagger was more interesting? Oh than my! Nah, nah, nah. Nah, <laughs> nah. Damn, Damn bro. bro. He said, "All right, all right." All right. <laughs> Think you say you rather watch Heath Slater? I'm gonna fuck it. I ain't nobody got time for that, bro. I can't think of one Brock Lesnar match I've seen to completion. I have when he suplexed John Cena all around the ring. Yo. Exactly, suplexing. That's right. Bro, that man that's got three moves. He, did in that match he like got that. three moves, bro. And nobody tried to come out and save John Cena. That nigga really got a awesome. suplex, a Kimura, and the F5, man. I'm sorry, bro. It's the same <laughs> shit, bro. And even after the match, nigga do like 30 motion, bro. Exactly. Like, it, like it, we working with the same dude, bro. I'm sorry, man. I can't put a nigga like that up in my top ten, bro. I can't, bro. Oh my God, she gonna lose. God damn, uh, put the bitch away. She hit a little metal in the way. But it's over. And it's over. No jump. Bang. Bang. And then get Bang. fucking. Damn. Yeah, he could just leave and get title matches, man. Fuck out of here. What is this? He gets a title match every time he come back from an eighteen year hiatus. I can't tell. <laughs> like nigga. I don't think it is. Just to give the dude a suplex. Don't even that, that nigga so ass at bro, he don't even speak anymore, does he? Now he does because probably with Roman Reigns. Just laugh. Nigga never used to talk like bruh. Nigga used to have his bald headed father talk for his Dad. ass, man. Ain't nobody trying to see the that. The Walrus. Niggas be working their ass off to get a title shot. Nigga come out of nowhere. Bro, come out of nowhere and, and now and now look at you. A number one contender. Man, get your sick ass on, man. <laughs> they sick for that shit. They know them niggas belong, belong in fucking jail, bro. Come on, man. I was about them, <laughs> What's the, you got a bunch of new wrestlers. I do not know who the came fuck they are. Oh, you ain't never going, you probably ain't going to remember their faces, even if they do got talent. They only use the same niggas. True. It's the truth, bro. They released them to everybody, too. I ain't gonna lie, they hold Ricochet, bro. I thought he was gonna be a good wrestler, bro. He should have been. They, they, they hold the fuck out of him. How do you niggas put it? They said that boy was actually good, man. They hold the fuck out of Pete Dunn. See what they got him doing. Dude, oh. that nigga fucking ass. Don't ever, don't ever say no, that. No, bro, he was better before he got you talk, you so smacked down. Nigga, you talking about the nigga who had a onesie, bro? Yeah. Yo, yeah. stop it, bro. Bro, what's that, You see what I'm saying with them damn riders? 
Stop it, bro. You see, you see what I'm saying, man? Them writers that suck, nigga, bro. That nigga's ass, bro. Stop and I feel it. like Vince been using the same writers since 1983, bro. Probably. No, bro. I don't know. I feel like I can make a bunch of good matches though. Well, <laughs> as long what as you don't form it? tag teams, man, you good, bro. What dog? What dogs are you doing right now? I'll Nothing. probably watch. Yeah. But I'll be damned if I see some shit like the Ghost come. He's showing WWE. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this nigga Seth Rollins getting the fuck beat out of here. Oh, he's versus shit finisher. You make the ghost in real life here, sir. Who? Oh. <laughs> you. I feel like if I take Tyson Kidd out and put somebody else, I feel like it'd be fine. Can't even do that. Evan Bourne's not even in WWE anymore. Huh? Oh, he reversed that? You said what? I said you can't even do that. Evan Bourne's not even in WWE anymore. He can come back after his contract. Where the fuck you No, he's not even in AW. He's in AW? Yeah. That's our deal. Bro, I thought he was in some type of foreign company. Really. No. Nah, niggas mess out there. That's crazy. I knew that nigga looked familiar. That's not very nice. What's his record in AEW? Let me go look. Probably better than what the fuck it ever was in WWE. Well, WWE should have a record too, bro. I don't know what it is. What's that? The curve on? And I need to find other ways to reverse the curve stomp instead of Randy Orton fucking RKO with everybody. Yeah. That's just the game being ass. Yeah. That is the greatest RKO I've ever seen in my life, though. I ain't gonna lie. What about the one with uh, Evan Bourne? Evan Bourne? It was also good, too. Now, that was the best RKO I've ever seen, personally. I prefer that one more than the other one that the niggas was dick riding about, bruh. <laughs> Like the Seth Rollins one was cool, but that one, that shit was legendary. But then the way that nigga got up and didn't even pin him, bro, he just, that nigga was getting hyped, bro. I was like, holy shit. My son, that was, oh, in, in total, he's 37 and 32. In 2022, he's 6 and 6. <laughs> so, in other words, he has. Who has the worst work at the age of Uh, Probably this dude, 7 and 18. Seven and eighteen, yeah. Do they say your record when you walk into the ring? Yes. Damn, so he gotta know he has when Never he mind, this guy's nine and fifty. Nine and fifty? Yeah. Who? Peter Avalon, but he's supposed to lose. He's not he's not one of those dudes who's supposed to win, you know what I mean? He's a jobber. No, you just, just bear. Yeah. 9 and 50 is crazy. Y'all can go into the wrestling industry, bro. You don't want to lose? Because if I'm being honest, it's not really even about talent sometimes, bro. It really just feels like it's about the right look. And if you ain't got it, that's tough. <laughs> You're going to be getting your ass beat every night. What's worse, 9 and 50 or 10 and 56? Uh. 10 and 56. Okay, wait. Well, this guy's 10 and 56. <clears throat> Honestly, bro, I, I just wouldn't even. That that would just be a side hustle for me at that point. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this guy. Darby Allen is 61 and 22. Go shoot. 8 and 5 this year, though. They've been hoeing him. What? They've been hoeing my nigga. CM Punk sent one from just on. No, cuz it's fucking dude. They only did that because it's him. That's why I don't like him right now. Oh. They only do that shit. It's not like he him. came back and they gave him a title immediately, bro. This was like he came months. back and he just started fucking winning. Like, oh every my night. God. That shit is gay. Randy Orton never come to AEW. He better win all his fucking. He had his chance, bro. Mm. I feel like everybody's to leave WWE and go to AEW. This is me, though. Nah, some of them want to make it. 
Who? Brock Lesnar. Uh, <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Bro, he'd probably make it. They just would make him win all the matches. Sounds like a W to me. I don't even want to see him in AW to be honest. I wouldn't mind him or him and John Moxley rivalry. We're seeing that, and they fucked it up in WWE. I don't want to see it again. Yeah. I went to that real quick edge in retirement. No, he didn't. Brothers Clay did. Because he spirit. Brothers Clay? He's, yeah, because he called him my mama? Because he spirit his foot ass, but the recoil on his neck triggered the injury again. No, I'm talking about the storyline. That ass. Alberto Dario put him out. Nah, fuck Alberto Dario. He's a good guy, man. No, he's not. And you know he's not. You know what he's done. So my nigga jobless right now. Yep. He he fought T Tito Ortiz and fucking lost. Fucking ass. Tito Ortiz in a real fight? Yeah, man. In the fuck way. That ass. He got beat in the bed. I don't remember, but I know it ended the first round. I think he tapped. Yep. So he can beat up his wife, but he couldn't beat up Tito Ortiz. All right. <laughs> Damn, Tito Ortiz like 62. That shit sucks. And he was ass. Chuck Liddell would always beat his ass. All oh, this is for Seth Rollins and still lose. I don't think so. Oh, he didn't even use resistance. that shit. So like I said, all this just for some problems and still lose. Spare used to be start being finna start being long as fuck. Huh? These pay used finna be finna start being long as fuck. Why? Oh, cause the women. No, not cause the women, it's just a lot of shit. It's fucking women. No. <laughs> yes. Might be it. Don't Seth got resiliency? No, he don't use it. Of course not. Like I said, mid. J. White retains.